All right, today we are out here in my temporary garage slash my back porch. We're going to put a couple performance parts on a motorcycle that you don't typically see. I ordered this bike off of uh, VenomMotorsports.com. It is a uh, BD250-7. It's a cruiser style bike with a uh, little tiny single cylinder engine on it. When I first put the bike together, I noticed uh, from the factory that the uh, wiring harness for the motorcycle goes straight over the air intake line from the air box to the throttle body and it's it's crushing it like halfway down. So I don't know if higher in a higher RPM said it uh, is crushing it from the vacuum or what, but it does seem to have a little less power in the higher RPMs. Even though it is only a 250, it feels like it should have a little more power than what it does in the higher RPMs. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to pull the intake line off the factory air box and I'm gonna put a uh, Nibby cone filter on it. And uh, we'll see if that corrects some of the problem. After we're all done with the air intake, we're gonna put something a little bit non-typical on this motorcycle. I want to show you the bike here real quick and uh, give you a shot of what we got for it. This came off of Amazon. And, uh, it's a better quality uh, intake filter than just the cheap 7 or $8 ones that you can buy. This is something that I will show you guys later on. First thing we're gonna do is pop the seat off here using this Allen wrench. It is a 3 16 but uh, should be a standard size. Yeah, should be a metric size, but this is what I have available at the time, so this is what I'm gonna use. We'll get these two out. I'll be back in a second. One thing I will tell you about these little uh, Allen head bolts, there is a nut up underneath the back fender. And if you unscrew this, this will fall out. It won't tighten down anymore. Next thing's pretty simple. Get a hold of the seat, wiggle it off. There you go. That exposes you to the saddlebags I put on, which are just they just sit on there and they're clamped down with the seat. You have access to the tank bolt if you need to take it off. And the computer here. Now there was an Allen head bolt right here. But it was one of the ones I didn't check when I first got it. And we took it for a ride and it vibrated out. But I don't have any problems with it flying off while I'm riding it. It is stuck in there pretty good. But then basically just like any other piece, let's pull this out. Give that a pull. It's in there tight. So. There it is. It's a battery side. And here is that smashed intake tube I was talking about. I think for now, I'm just going to pull this intake tube off and leave the air box back here for now. And I'll remove that later on when I have to change this back tire when it finally goes bad. Bike only has a thousand miles on it right now, so I'm gonna wear them down before I get a new tire for it. They're actually not horrible. Said I already started removing this uh, cover here. And this is the uh, access to your air box on this side. If you needed to get access to the filter, change the filter out after so long, here's the screws to do that. This whole cover comes off and the factory air filters in here. Let's we'll loosen these up here. And uh, that should give us access to pull the air box out. I don't think there is anything else bolting this in. I imagine there's some kind of 
breather line hooked to this somewhere but I don't see it yet but it is tucked in here tight I think I can get it out this way though without taking the back tire off pulling it back through the breather hose it goes from right here into the air box down in here and uh that's giving me some problems i'm gonna pull that off and we'll see if it's a little easier to get out so there was no band or anything on this i just gave it a pull and it popped right off just pressure fit on basically with that breather off and uh, a couple little pulls it does start coming out it's not as hard as what i thought it would be i just have to get that line pulled off the rest of the way and pull this thing out and i'll show you how squished this was it's kind of impressive that it was even running at all i'm gonna try taking the air box apart instead and seeing if i can push the intake hose off in front of the air box and then slide it out found this little, there's a little hook on the back of the air box that wraps around this part of the frame and it's stopping me from just sliding it straight out. I don't want to cut it off because I kind of want to keep it in case I ever have to put it back in, but I'm going to try that first. I was just thinking about it and I realized that if I take this air box out, I'm not going to have a way to put the side covers back on. So I'm gonna pull it out, take the intake tube off, put it back in here, and then put all the bolts back in it that way so that I can still put the side covers back on. Let's see what's in here. It's number two. I wasn't expecting that. Actually, it looks like a pretty decent filter. Draws in there through the filter into the intake hose. I got that off. Now all I gotta do is pull this through. But I wanna save this and make it nice. Keep it nice just in case I ever have to put it back on. All I'm gonna do now is pop this through. I just pushed a screwdriver down in there and uh, just, just pry it off there. Now she's off there completely. And we can remove this piece of the air intake that has been completely, that's how it came. So I can't imagine it was getting great airflow from the beginning. I'm gonna make a quick check that this thing will run the way it is. And uh, with uh, the air flowing the way it will be when there's just a cone filter on it. And uh, make sure I didn't smash any wires or anything like that. You can pull this tire air box out. You have access to something which this bolt must have also came out, one I couldn't reach. And I put the bike together. So I'm gonna fix that real I quick. I found a random screw bolt here, I guess. Put it in there, it's nice and tight now. Yeah, I have this all off, but uh, this will not fit 
no matter how I try to squeeze it in there, this way, this way, this way, don't matter, it doesn't fit. So, I went over to my spare parts area, and I have this old air intake tube off of a, actually a car, 2013 Dodge Dart. I can put some of this stuff together, I think, and it'll make a stronger tube than this factory one. And I'll be able to run this filter without this tube being crushed. This is all one piece. Cut this off here. Use this as a 90. I'll get a solid one and three quarter inch piece of something in the pipe. And I'll slide it in there. And that'll should give me enough clearance to bring it out one side of the way. This went from a 15 minute project into a three hour project. But I think it's gonna be better. Might be picking up a little bit more warm air, but it's better than the smashed intake line. To get this thing to come out this way, I had to get a 90 and then a 45, then another 90, and then a 45 air intake filter to get it anywhere close to being away from that motorcycle frame. I did just put the air box back on it. That way, so I can reattach the uh, side covers so you don't look at this. All right, now that everything's all put back together, why don't we take a quick walk around and see what it looks like here. There's that new intake, and we'll give it a start and see what it sounds like.